Today we're going to work on temperature scales. And temperature scales are Fahrenheit, which we use in the United States, and the rest of the world uses Celsius or centigrade. And then uh, scientists use Kelvin as well as Celsius and centigrade. So we're going to basically be doing uh, using three different formulas. For example, uh, Fahrenheit, to figure out Fahrenheit, you multiply 1.8 times this degree Celsius plus 32. To figure out centigrade, you take degree centigrade and you take it and you take 0.5, 0 0.56 um, and multiply it by the degrees Fahrenheit minus 32. And, um, and then for uh, Kelvin, you take degree centigrade and you uh, add 273.15. So, uh, first of all, you need to remember we're going to probably use some basic algebra. So you're going to have to rework the formula. For example, if you're only given Fahrenheit, but you want to figure out Kelvin. Um, but uh, if you work through it, you'll be able to, to figure out which which way to go so we're going to start with we're going to uh, do 120 so 120 degrees fahrenheit so here we have degrees fahrenheit so we know that that's going to go here and so we take degrees centigrade equals 0.56 way we get five six is that's five ninths and we multiply our degrees Fahrenheit, which is 120, minus 32. And then remembering uh, uh, PMDAS, um, you basically do parentheses first. So that's 120 minus 32, which is 88. So then you can take point, point 0.56 times 88 and then you just do multiplication which equals 49.28 degrees centigrade so now we know that we have 49.28 degrees centigrade equals 120 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, unfortunately, that is going to be the temperature in some places in the world this summer, which is pretty dang hot. Not quite hot enough to fry an egg on, but still hot enough to, to, to make your feet uncomfortable. So, then we take our degrees Kelvin. So, degrees Kelvin eh, equals... Uh, our degrees centigrade, which is 49.28, um, is our degrees centigrade. And we add 273.15. We add that together, and we get 322.43. And yes, you can easily use your calculators for this. So, um, that's pretty much what you do. You take the formulas that are given here at the top, and you plug in your numbers. There are nine other problem sets for this. Um, and uh, you'll have to work backwards. Now, I will say that some, particularly for Kelvin, you have to rework this. So... You are going to have to then take, we want to know Celsius. So Celsius equals, so we're basically, we need to subtract minus 273.15. So Celsius equals Kelvin minus 273.15. And that's how you rework that formula. Fahrenheit and Celsius are given. 
And if you run into any problems, feel free to just leave me a comment or send me an email. And uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye now.